Welcome to this week's Spelling Netcast. Students, let's make sure that we're prepared before we begin. You should all have um, a glue stick with you, a pencil to write with, scissors to cut with, a uh, Ziploc bag to store your word chips in, your journal to do the assignment in, and last but not least, we need to have our spelling words for the week. And this is sort 40. We're dealing with the final E. We have a C E, a V E, an S E, and a Z E. And we'll get into the sounds in just a few minutes. But for now, let's go ahead and take a moment and let's cut out our exemplars and our word chips. Ready? <laughs> Go. By now, students, you um, should have all of your um, word chips cut out and ready to start. And as you know, we begin each and every um, video with gluing in the heading. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure it's cut out. If not, pause the video and cut it out. Okay, here we go. Let's run a bead of glue across it. Let's go ahead and put it at the top so again this helps us stay organized so we know what we're doing there we go and again this is uh, sort 40 and we're going to be focusing on the E sound and we're going to find out uh, what that exactly is and uh, with each of these words um, we've got CE that's going to be one of our exemplars um, VE S E and Z E. Let's go ahead and start. I'll just pick one out at random. Let's pop it on here. Looks like we have the S E. Okay, so let's go ahead and jot that down. S E. Put a line underneath it. You can. Let's go ahead and next to it, let's grab one and let's go Z E. So find the Z E and let's go ahead and write it off to the side. We've got two more, it looks like. We have the CE and the VE. So let's drop down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to be about eight. And let's go ahead and do the next one, which is CE. And then, last but not least, we have VE. So we'll put it next to the CE. Alright, All right. so let's take a look at these sounds and, and see if the, the final E makes a sound, or maybe helps make a sound. So um, it looks like this one's going to be, it's going to make the sound, s or is it? Hmm, because I think we want to to make the sound, but let's bring in a word that has the, the S-E at the end, and let's see, huh, this one we have P-L-E-A-S-E, -E. so we have the, the S-E, but the word is pronounced please, please, say that with me, please, is that S or is it Z? Please, that makes the, the Z-E sound, doesn't it? Hmm, interesting. So that one kind of makes a Z-E sound. And the E is what? Silent, that's right. Let's grab another word. <clears throat> Let's bring it down here. And it has the what at the end? This final E is accompanied with the Z-E. So that looks like it's going to match up here at the top under this exemplar so let's write f r e e z e and the word is freeze z please freeze it makes the same sound doesn't it, it makes that z sound please freeze so this one's a little bit tricky isn't it because we think it's going to be the s sound but in reality at least this word right here that makes the z sound. Please. Please. Okay. All right, let's bring in another one. Next word is... <clears throat> hmm. Say the word move with me. Move. Move. And it has... What at the end? It has the E. And before it has the V. So it's going to fall under this one. Move. Move. We need to move so we don't get hit with the ball. If we're at a baseball you know, stadium, right, we don't want to get too close to 
to the action, and I get hit with the ball. All right, <clears throat> so we have to pay attention, I guess, at baseball games so you don't get hit. And if you need to move, you better move quickly. All right, so we got move, v, move. Has that V sound, doesn't it? So let's go ahead and review so far. We've got the move, v, makes the V sound. That one, we understand that pretty easy. Here we have freeze, makes that Z sound. <gasps> this is the what? This is the tricky one. When we have the E A S E, it makes the. If you look closer, Mr. Powell wrote a little Z E, makes the Z sound. Please, that's the tricky one. All right, let's go to our last one. <gasps> nope, we've done we've done one in that category. Let's go to this one. Ah, here we go. Here we go. This is the one we want. We want an example of a word that has a C E at the end. So this word is chance. Chance. I was hoping we had a chance to. Find a word with a C-E at the end, and <clears throat> by golly, here it is. This is our chance, the word chance. All right. What sound does it make at the end? Say it with me. Chance. Chance. Ah, there's that, that sound that we thought was going to be right here with this. Chance. Okay. That's, that's kind of a C-E, maybe a S-E sound. That one's kind of cool. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and see if we can't, here's a word that's kind of like <clears throat> please. It's what? Say it with me, tease, right? Some of you guys are, like to tease others. Sometimes we are teased, all in fun hopefully. All right, so let's write tease, T-E-A-S-E. -E. Now this one had the Z sound. Let's see if this one holds true, if the pattern follows. Say it with me. Tease. Tease. Ah, please. Tease. This one also has that Z sound, doesn't it? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if the rest of them have that. So as you're going through and finishing the sort, make sure you pay attention to that. See if that pattern holds true, where we have the S-E at the end. See if it makes that Z sound. Okay. This one has the s chance sound, freeze, the Z sound, and this one has the v sound, move, move, move. All right, go ahead and finish up. Grab the rest of your word chips. Put them in a position where you can <clears throat> easily grab them. Remember to find the right exemplar, and as you lay it, say it, and then you're going to write it. All right, the time is now yours to finish up. See if there's any oddballs. See you in a few minutes. All right, students, by now you've finished the, the video portion. And now you're ready to, to do the second part, which is the lay say in. And I'd like you to write your, um, your words down again, following the, your exemplars. Okay? And again, remember we do this so that we can uh, not only become better spellers, but readers and writers as well. Okay, we expect great things of you. Make sure you get this done. Make sure you're prepared. All right, you guys are wonderful. See you soon.